Hi guys, today I'll be making some juicy baby back pork ribs. I'm not a fan of pork, but let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome to Bucky's Touch where we share all our DIYs and I am Bucky. So today we're going to start by peeling off the, the thin membrane by the back, at the back of the baby back ribs. This membrane is always tough even after the meat is well done. So it's up to you, you can remove it or leave it. Then we're going to dry our ribs with a paper towel just to get rid of all the water you don't want it all runny when you start applying the seasoning so i'm gonna wrap the ribs with some mustard you can use a mustard of your choice we have dijon so we're gonna use a dijon mustard so that when we add the seasoning the seasoning can stick to our ribs yeah so we're done and now we're gonna use our seasoning. This is our seasoning. You can use any seasoning of your choice, it's up to you. We have onion, garlic, cumin powder, black, and cayenne pepper. So we'll rub it, just rub it in, rub it everywhere. Don't be afraid, don't be sparing. Be generous and rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, until it looks good. As you can see, we, we, we're trying to just get the seasoning everywhere. So we finished our seasoning. Now we're gonna cover it with foil and marinate for 30 minutes in a refrigerator. So guys, my intention is not to bore you with all this cooking, but I'm just sharing my recipes that I cooked Christmas day. By the way, we're trying out these uh, baby back ribs for the first time. So 30 minutes later, we pop it in the preheated oven. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for an hour. And then an hour later, our ribs are ready. Now we're gonna rub them with the sauce generously. The recipe for our sauce will be in the description below. So we'll continue our rubbing the sauce. You can do it front and back. Just like the seasoning, some don't put it at the, the bottom where we remove the membrane as we just put it everywhere. So after, then you bake it for another hour or until the meat is tender. So an hour later, it's ready. So we're going to cut and taste it. Mm-hmm yeah i mean the bones the meat is not dropping from the boards but it from the bones sorry but it is well done and trust me for the for a first timer it just tasted mwah. we enjoyed it so thanks guys for watching thank you for subscribing and please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like and share. Goodbye.